going on everybody welcome back to the channel here's a truck that you guys have never seen i feel bad that i've never even shown it off in the two years that it's been built this is my mega truck started off life originally in 2014 the 1986 gmc that i had i mud raced it at the local mud track and there was supposed to be something that we were gonna fix from when I first got my license and it kind of turned into what you see today so just to give a little recap on this thing I built it two years ago with my buddies Bill and Chris down in New Salem we took the parts out of my two and a half ton mega Jeep that I had and put them under this CNC shocks drop box full four length full cage yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I'll add some clips right now of this thing running. So when I first built it, I never trust the rear housing. And it's pretty hard to tell in the video, but you can see the rim is in the air on that side, touching right here. That's because the rear end's got a little bit of a bend to it. But not to worry, I've got a new housing, I've got new shock brackets, link tabs, all that stuff, top hat. So in this video, we're going to take the old rear end out, get the new one under there, get everything mocked up how we want it before we finally weld it in and resurrect this thing after sitting in the garage all winter. Finally got the rear end out, and now we can start looking at the new one, figuring out what we've got to do. This is just an empty housing. I've got these old leaf spring slash four link bar brackets we got to cut off, grind them up, and then we're going to put this almost empty housing in that I have, center truck. This was one out of my Jeep. It got completely ruined, so I've been saving it around the compound just in case this day ever came and we had to use it for mock-up. So, I guess let's uh, get cutting these suckers off. Some small beads on there, so hopefully they come off pretty good. These are some pretty hardcore brackets somebody had on here. Half inch fucking thick steel. This one's kind of crafty. It had some spacers under it. But now oh, those are off. I'm going to oh go through and grind up all the welds. And next time I talk to you, we'll be going under the truck. <laughs> Well, we're close. 
That's our center line. That's our bob. I'm gonna push it over roughly what, maybe an inch. Oh man, this thing's heavier than it looks. Holy crap. Can't push it. I'll catch back with you. We've got our we've got our plumb bob pretty damn close on center. So now we can look at axle brackets like these so we can get this thing squared up to the truck. Here's the pieces. I got them from Beyond Precise and just like these ones they just slide together and uh, pretty nice. I, I like them. That's why I bought another set. Well, it's been about a month later since I worked on this thing. That seems to always be how it goes. Make a bunch of progress, record half a video, then get caught up in other stuff for about a good month. But we're back at it. And I think we're going to change up the rear axle geometry a little bit. We're going to do a reverse triangulation. We're going to change the cradle tabs as well as the axle brackets. And put the link bars, the upper link bars, on the outside of the chassis. And then we're going to tow the bottom ones into the center of the cradle. The reason we're going to try this is last year we widened the link bars on my top hat. Trying to accommodate the dry sump that's on the 565. And it re resulted in not enough triangulation in the rear end. And my link bar smashed into my $1,500 oil pan a few times. So hopefully, doing a reverse triangulation four link in the back, it should put enough triangulation in the rear end to where it shouldn't sway back and forth. And we should have plenty, plenty of clearance. So to get this process started, I got both axle brackets on and I've added the link bars to be towed in almost about 20 degrees which is where they would be and I also cut these cradle tabs off I still got to do the other side but we'll get a little bit of progress done on this side first but I have new brackets that I've already mocked up and torched out the corner so it can fit the way I wanted it to. We'll get those tacked on. But before we do that, this is the bracket we got from Beyond Precise fabrication for the lower link mounts. Everything ties into together. I just gotta tack it all together so we can put it on the chassis and see if our geometry is gonna work out and our link bars are long enough to do what we want to do. Well, we've got the mount all tacked on. I actually took the time and welded the entire thing together. And couldn't really get any more precise on the degrees of the actual chassis versus that mount. So now we can focus on the link bars. I've already got the top one cut down to length. Had to be about an inch and a half shorter than it originally was. I've got this mount tacked on. Now it's pointed on the outside of the frame. I've got this link bar bolted in and about where this mark is, it's about where we're going to cut this I believe and shorten it. I had a little brain fart when I was messing around with links and I thought I wasn't going to have enough link bar material to do this, but I found out that on the previous setup the uppers were longer than the lowers so I just rotated them and now this is the bar off the lower link side before I put it on the top and we put the longer ones that were on the top now on the bottom so instead of me having to buy all new link material to make this work we actually lucked out and we're about an inch and a half longer on either side what a good sight that is we get the upper and the lower link bars are bolted on the axle side it's all bolted on right here. Again, there's a pretty much a final look at what we're going for with this whole swap. 
now that we've got this side all done, we're gonna wait to tack the shock mounts on there so we can weld all down here and then we'll put it all on that way we can access everything but we're gonna uh, move over to the other side and duplicate everything right here over there and I'm not gonna film any of that this video seems to have taken a turn for the long side and I don't want you guys to get too bored if you're still watching so after the other sides all wrapped up we will uh, check back in with you and we'll look at the final picture before doing a final weld Oh, would you look at that? Finally, we got four link bars in it. We got the shocks all hooked up. We even got the sway bars tacked on. Get everything tacked on right now just so we can uh, test the full droop of the suspension. Oh yeah, should be pretty cool. We're uh, we're gonna get the motor crane out right now and wrap it around my hitch. See if we can just pick this thing up and hopefully everything stays tacked. Fingers crossed. Just like that, the ass end is up in the air and our limit straps are almost tight. We've got plenty of clearance. It's a good thing they stop when they do. This is awesome. I, I am beyond words. This is fantastic. Looks like it's gonna work. Let's let it down and see just how gracefully we can do this. Oh boy. The knob on the jack is pretty fucking tight. Alright, maybe now maybe now I can regulate it with my hand. Back on our own weight. Well, on the jacks at least. Everything specs out. Everything looks all right. So I guess now we're gonna do the final weld. We've got the rear end back out of the truck. Welded any of these brackets on. Didn't come out too bad. But now I gotta start working on trussing the lower half as well as welding some spots that I couldn't quite reach when it was in the truck but I think that's going to do it for this video it's taken way longer to make this video than I was hoping for originally so if you guys like the comment content like comment subscribe whatever you'd like to do we appreciate it here on the channel we're uh, getting up there in subs and hopefully trying to make this a little bit better content I say that a lot but I mean it but uh well, hopefully next time you see this truck, we'll have the motor back in it, we'll have the rear end back in it, hopefully we'll be uh, taking this thing off some sweet jumps. But until then, let's see ya. Keep wrenching.